game winning streak, but I wanted to see what what feels different about this this streak this time than you know uh, previously. Yeah, I mean, well, this obviously feels better because I feel like as a team we're getting a lot better. I mean, um, Pittsburgh they're a really good team. Um, Champagne, Champagne, um, have you say it? He's a really great player. I mean, obviously he had a pretty good game, but we kept the, we got him in foul trouble, so that kind of affected him on defense, and that helped us a lot. But, I mean, I feel like on this trip, we're just getting a lot better. We're starting to talk more on defense. Everybody's starting to play um, to how they're supposed to play, so it's been going good. Brendan. Hey, Armando. I just wanted to ask, when you think about the way all of last year went, the, the way the start of this year went, you know, the way you guys are playing right now, how is that different from maybe anything that you have experienced so far at Carolina? Is this is this the most improvement that you've seen in your time in Chapel Hill? Yeah, I mean, last year was kind of more like we just felt, felt outmatched, like teams were just actually better than us. But like this year, I feel like from a talent standpoint of view, like I feel like we can compete with anybody. It's just putting it all together. Thank you. Mark Armstrong. Uh, in the second half, uh, Armando, after one of your and ones, they caught you on camera kind of smirking at your defender. Um, is, is this kind of you coming into yourself and realizing the real impact you can have on a game? And I mean, it looked like you were looking at the guy knowing there was nothing he can do to stop you, essentially. <laughs> nah, um, we all was just like, we all kind of cool with each other. Um, JC and um, Kareem, too. I've been knowing them for a long time. So. It's just kind of funny just playing against those guys. Usually, I mean, y'all see me on the court. I'm just like a blank face the whole time. But it's just funny. Just I've been playing against them since like middle school, so it was just funny just being able to joke with them and stuff like that. JB. Hey, Armando, congrats, congrats on the win tonight. Um, do you feel like you, Dayron, and Garrison are, are, are getting into a rhythm where you guys can start playing some bully ball down there in the paint? Yeah, I mean, I definitely say just as a trio, we've been kind of finding our swag a little bit, just starting to know where others like the ball. And that just makes it a lot easier when we all can play off each other in both the high post and the low post. And our guards are starting to knock down shots too. And so they're having to start respect us. So it's making it a lot easier on us. We're getting more one-on-one -on -one coverage and things like that. And honestly, I feel like us, whenever we get a one-on-one -on -one coverage, it's a high probability that we're going to score it. Ross. Yeah, I'm kind of building off the last two questions. I mean, it just seems like you're playing with a little more of a fire. Is there anything that has gotten you motivated or are you just are things coming a lot easier and slowing down for you? What's kind of been the impetus for the last couple of few big games? Yeah, I mean, just staying focused. I mean, coach, he's hard on me, like you say. I mean, I didn't even recall to the beginning of the year. It was like first practice. I mean, I had a great practice. And then, like, I think it was something like my adductor was hurting or something like that. And I remember, like, just playing on a blue team for like three weeks, like I was subbing in for Dewey. So like that kind of fired me up, like me being like literally, literally the last man on the team, the 17th man, and just having to deal with that for three weeks, that kind of just fired me up. And I'm like, hey, I can't take anything for granted. We got all these good guys coming in, so I just got to bring it every day. Was that this year when you were on the blue team? Yeah, that happened this year. It was like literally for like a month, I was like backing up Dewey. So I mean, Dewey was <laughs> clear, but like that was kind of tough. Thanks, man. Adam. Armando, you're talking about the feeling of it all coming together for you guys, and you, you use the word swag. I, I didn't use that. Um, that's six and one. UNC is six and one this month in, in January. I mean, is, is I would assume the confidence is as high as it's been this season. Where, where would you rank you guys' collective confidence? I mean, we feel good. I mean, you look at back when we played, like, Obviously, Georgia Tech, we feel like we laid an egg. NC State, we feel like we laid an egg. Like, maybe it's like two games, like Florida State and Iowa, that may, might be the only two games I feel like where we just actually just lost. But just looking back at those other games, I mean, we make a couple good plays and we're looking at us in a completely different way right now. So, I mean, I feel like we're the same team. We're just, just doing better at finishing games and stuff like that. All right. Thank you, Armando. That's all. That's everybody's question for Armando. So,